Welcome to Kashiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving this complex radical equation. Before we start, I'm kindly asking for you to subscribe to my channel so I can make more very interesting videos in the future. And feel free to leave a message if you have any questions. Since this equation is really complex, I have to rewrite the numerator again over here so we can start focusing on the numerator first so we can simplify. Alright, so let's start simplifying that numerator. Okay, first we have to focus on the numerator. First thing to do is get the inner radicand in there. That is y to raised to the 64. Okay, so we do that. So that's the uh, fourth root of y to the 64th power. And this is also written as y to the 64 raised to the 1 4th power. And to further simplify this, we have a power rule that is a exponent m raised to exponent n. So that is equal to a raised to m multiplied by n. So we're going to use that on this one right here. So y to the 64 raised to the 1 fourth power. So that becomes y uh, raised to the 64 times 1 fourth. So we're multiplying the exponent raised to a power of 1 fourth. So that is 60 40 but by 4. That is y that's That is y raised to 16 power. Okay. So we're done that and now we're doing the square root. So we have here now the square root of y to the 16th power. So that is equal to y to the 16 raised to 1 half power. So we'll be using this, uh, this power rule the same way over here on this one right here. So that means the same thing as y raised to 16 multiplied by 1 half. So that is equal to y raised to 16 divided by 2 is 8. So y raised to 8. Okay, so next is we have to raise that to the third power. Since we're done on this square root, so the next thing is we raise that to the third power. So that is y to the eighth raised to the third power. That is equal to y raised to 8 times 3 is 24. Or simply we just leave it that way since the other one. The next thing to do is we're getting the the cube root of this number, the cube root of this variable y. So we just leave it as is 8 times 3. y raised to the 8th power raised to the 3rd power. So we just leave it like that. So y to the 8th raised to the 3rd power. Okay. Now the next thing we do now is that the cube root of this term. So that will be cube root of y raised to 8 raised to the third power. So since this is a cube root and this is this term raised to the third power, so that cancels. That cancels. That's that is y raised to the eighth power cube raised to the one third power. So it means three is multiplying this exponent right here. Three multiplied multiplied by one third. So that will end up to y raised to the eighth power. So that is three times one third. That's can the three is cancelled. So we live up with just y to the eighth. So this the numerator now is equal to y raised to the 8th power. 
Okay. Now it's the time to simplify the denominator. The square root of the 6th root of y to the 12th power. And so in here, I have written the denominator of this complex radical equation. The square root of uh, the 6th root of y to the 12th power. So, let's start solving that. So first, we uh, focus our attention on the inside, the inner radical right there. So that is the 6th root of y to the 12th power. And we can rewrite this expression as y raised to the 12th power multiplied by raised to the 1 6th power. So we end up dividing 12 by 6, so that is y raised to 12 divided by 6 is 2. We end up with y squared. So we are done on this, and now there's another radical right there. So we have now the square root of y squared. So that is, it can be rewritten the same way as y to the square raised to the one half power. So the same way dividing 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. So we ended up with just the value of y. Okay, we, we came up to the conclusion that this the value of this term is equal to y. Now if we take a look at the original equation, we have here again the seventh root of the whole term, the top and bottom of this uh, fractional radical. So let's focus on that now. So we're focusing on big picture now. So that is the seventh root of the top and bottom of the complex radical expression, radical equation. So we found out that the, the numerator is y to the eighth. If we take a look at the value of this, the, uh, the numerator of the complex radical equation, that becomes y to the eighth. So that's the numerator. So that is y to the eighth over here. And the denominator, we found that that is equal to y, so the denominator part of the complex radical equation, so that's y, put it on the bottom, y to the 1 or simply y. Okay, now we're focusing on the big picture now. So we have a denominator that's y to the first power that's on the bottom of the, the fractional part of the radicand. So we have the power rule that is a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So that means the exponent are subtracted, so m minus n. So that's the power rule. So in here, since we have the same base, y, we have that the seventh root of y to the eighth divided by y to the uh, exponent one, that it'll be equal to the seventh root of y to the eighth minus one. So that means subtracting the exponent. Okay, so we end up to the seventh root of y raised to eight minus one, that is seven. So that is y to the 7, written the same way as y to the 7, raised to the power of 1 over 7. So that is canceling the 7, 7 multiplied by 1 over 7, that cancels the 7, ended up with the value of y raised to the first power, or simply y. So we came up to the answer of this complex radical term right here equal to y. Okay. So we have here value of that is y. So the whole term is the seventh root of y to the eighth divided by y to the first power is y. 
So after all the complexities solving this complex radical equation, we came up simply to the answer as x is equal to y. That's all for today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for your time. Bye.